three comics that made me laugh out loud with over-the-top action. Let's go. Saving the World by Tonic Mold. Funniest guys in independent comic books. I think totally underrated. These books are reminiscent of Harvey Crumb, Ghost World, and this book just makes me bust a gut when reading it. I chuckle. That's a hard thing to do in a comic book. We got two girls with superpowers, great boobs, and minimum wage problems. Tonic Mole is writer and artist, all in one package, black and white. Shirtless Bear Fighter, there is no book like this one. It's essentially a Samson-like story where whenever this guy puts on a shirt, he loses his strength and he seldom wears pants. So the dick jokes are endless and they're funny and they're in your face. He is a man who was raised among bears and now is the protector of the forest, but he's defending it from a guy who wants to chop it up to make toilet paper and has a golden toilet. No joke, it's funny, it makes you laugh out loud. Got this incredible art as well. Epic colors by Mike Spicer. Rumble, John Arcudi, James Heron. Not only is this James Heron's art, and I think he's one of the best artists in comics, bar none, he blows my mind. This is the book that introduced me to him. This is the big Lebowski of comic books in my mind. It's about two dudes who can't get it together and their friendly dog. They get tied into this ancient mystical war with a barbarian and this endless horde that's now crept into the modern world and is hiding out. It is funny, it is over the top at every turn, it is bro comedy and incompetent humor, and I love it. This was a parking lot read for me every single issue when this was coming out. I was grabbing it off the shelf, reading in the parking lot, laughing, crying, and couldn't wait for the next issue. It broke my heart when this ended after six volumes. James Heron's unbelievable art that fills this book. 